Hi there, my name is Jordan Tashner and I'm a curriculum designer over at Code for Kids and welcome to the second lesson of our new app course. The purpose of the app course, just a reminder, is to teach your students about the future of technology and that is building modern, functional web apps that they can open, share and have fun with. These will be built using JavaScript and contains real-world modern coding that professionals use to create powerful apps in this day and age. So just a reminder about the structure of this course. Every odd lesson, so lessons 1, 3, 5 and 7 are theory-based lessons and use our new quiz module to teach your students about the theory of modern computing and apps as well as the coding behind creating these apps. These lessons have an emphasis on progress tracking using our new quiz module. Every even lesson, so lesson two, four, six, and eight, including this one, your students will be applying that theory and building their very own apps. In this lesson two, your students will be creating their very first app, the animals of the world. Learning outcomes includes app design, JavaScript in HTML, styling, and images as well as data and modifying databases for apps. This is quite a complex lesson, so really go through the task slowly with your students. That being said, I must again emphasize that this is a discussion-based course, so focus on interaction with your students. So look out for those teacher prompts, go through tasks with your students carefully, and watch our videos as a class. We have found, again, that this format works best. So let's now get into the lesson. So since this is lesson two, as I said, um, your students will be now be doing their first app. On the first tab where it says intro, they will be learning about uh, what they did in the previous lesson. So I'm not gonna go through this as this is, um, these questions are actually quite similar, if not the same from the previous lesson. So again, watch out for those teacher prompts to sort of help you along the way. And really, again, I encourage that discussion-based sort of format. So once they've done this, they can go to their first tab. And this is quite interesting. So on the right hand side, you can see the app template. And this app template is resembles an iPhone. And you'll see that the app is not working. So I'm gonna go through with you exactly how your students are supposed to create this. This lesson will take uh, the whole lesson. If you wanna draw it out to a second lesson, you can if you want. So. Section A, we've divided this to make it easier. You'll see that the left-hand side is a lot wider, so they'll have a lot more space. And they can uh, try and see what they can do on the right-hand side, and they'll see it appear as they go. So um, I also uh, recommend opening this uh, in a separate tab. You'll see this button on the right-hand side says open. That means they can share it. They can open it on their phones if they want, uh, but it also kind of enlarges it so they can see their app a little better. So question one out of 11, you are making this app. Add your name and surname. So let me add my name and surname. And you'll see on the right hand side, it appears there at the top. Then our JavaScript will change this ID when new animals are shown on the right. Make this ID animal name, sure, sure. So animal name. Our JavaScript will change this ID when new animals are shown on the right. Make this ID animal image. Add the function draw card. Animal details, this may help us out somewhere. You'll see that a bit later. And now down to question six, add inner HTML to our animal name and they'll have to change inner HTML. And you'll see once they've done that, question six, you will see on the right hand side, the app is starting to work. And the students love this. Um, I've taught this before and they see this image and they go absolutely wild. Um, tell them that they can click on the image, they can move it around to fit it. They can do whatever they want with this image. You'll see if they click draw card, something's breaking, not to worry. You can refresh the tab if they want by clicking the code preview and see that line again. Add this, the source has been added for us, question seven. Question eight, for the description, fix the ID, we're finding the correct ID near the clue we have given you on this tab. So you'll see the ID is missing and you'll have to notice that it says description and they can find the ID over there, we've given you the hint over there so they can add animal description and now they're going to see that animal description has suddenly appeared and there's a couple of things here that you can show them the lion this is just a brief description of the lion speed weight height 
Um, they will see this all in the video in the intro tab as well, by the way, at the end of the intro tab over here. So make sure that they, they watch this as a class. So line is now working, but now we want to draw a bunch of cards. And in the video, I explain that there's a bunch of different cards and uh, we, we provide them with a deck at the top. And to do this, they'll need to go to app database and you'll see a teacher prompt at the top. You would have noticed that only the line is showing on our app and the giraffe is broken. Let's see what we can do to fix the giraffe. Okay, so this is the sort of process flow that they're gonna go through. So question nine out of 11, what animals do they want in the app? Take five minutes to remove the comment, the comments are the two slashes for each animal that you want. For example, the giraffe below. So whatever they remove, whatever they want here, they need to make the text yellow. And when the text is yellow, that animal will be in their app when they fix it. So say for instance that I want the cheetah and I want the magpie and I want the rhino. Those are the three that I want. I'm gonna go down here. Uh, once they've done that, you can go down here. There's another teacher prompt here, an example of how the lion appears in the app. So go through this carefully. There's a name and that name has lion. There's an image URL that has an images.lion. There's a description and there's a bunch of stats and all those stats you could see on the app. Question 10 out of 11, they need to fix the giraffe uh, and the giraffe is on there already. So this is just to give them, get them used to changing these. So this isn't working on the app. So they'll need to go to the deck and this is what we've provided uh, you with and what you provided the students with. They need to use this. You can click zoom to fit, to sort of fit it to this uh, page. And all the information that they need is here. And what I suggest is tell your students to open this tab, this deck tab on a separate window on Chrome or whatever browser they're using. So they can kind of go back and forth between the app database and the deck. So they'll have to look for giraffe to begin with. So they can zoom in. You can see the name of the giraffe, the image URL, images.giraffe, 60, 800 kilometer, uh, kgs, five meters, rating of 68. So they can go back here. They can go to giraffe and change images.giraffe. Description, they can make up their own or they can use Google. I'm gonna say giraffe has a tall neck. Uh, stats, I think it was, let's check again, stats was uh, 60 kilometers, 800 kgs. That's 60 kilometers. I don't want to spend too much time. Let's go. Uh, 80 kgs. Um, height. That was like five meters. Okay, I might be wrong because I'm not going back. And 60, 60, a rating of 68. So once they've done that, they can go to back to their app animals and they can draw the card. And when they find giraffe, there's all that information that I've added. And this is randomized, so they might not find their cards that they've uh, made already uh, immediately, but it'll appear there eventually if they keep clicking draw card. But they'll see these new cards showing up, and that's what I want them to do. So you'll see some more data has been added. There's a mamba, buffalo, cheetah, elephant, and there's all the animals, and they need to find the animals that they've added. So I've added a cheetah, so let's go down to cheetah. Uh, cheetah, 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 cheetah. Uh, cheetah is over here. And again, they need to fix these for all the ones that they've commented out. So I commented out cheetah, uh, rhino, a couple of others. So they need to go back to the deck. They need to look for cheetah. Here's cheetah. URL is images.cheetah. I've added that already. 120, 50 kg, 0 0.8. Let's see how good my memory is. Um, cheetah was 120 kilometers per hour, hour. weight was uh, 80, am I wrong? 50, I'm wrong, um, cheetah was 50, height, uh, very bad memory, 0 0.8 meters, that's of course kgs, and the rating was like 92 because cheetahs are really fast and obviously they're carnivores, and now they can draw their card. And there's my cheetah. I forgot to add a description. But that's it. That's all they need to do to add more animals to their deck. And they, if they have the time, they can just add more and more and more and more. Um, if they want to add an owl, they can. But obviously, they need to change those that stats first. You'll see that owl, uh, owl will now appear. Um, I've added it. But of course, they need to change their stats, so they'll need to go back down to owl. Um, owl, 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 there's owl over there. 
and this is the the fashion that they need to sort of go back and forth um, that's why I recommend so they don't have to go back and back and forth back and forth back and forth they should open uh, open the deck as a separate window on Chrome and it'll help them a lot or, or whatever browser um, and that's it for animals of the world they're seriously going to love it um, really encourage them to add as many animals of they can, as they can and uh, fill in all this information again uh, discuss it with them go through it slowly so they really understand this um, and they can draw cards as many as they want and um, you can say to them with your partners uh, click draw card at the same time and who's gonna win um, sort of like those trump cards back in the day when you had uh, like different power cars and all that sorts of all those sorts of things so uh, yeah we really hope you enjoy the first app lesson where they create their own app and again Lesson three, um, the next lesson, we're going to be learning more theory with the quiz module, which you saw in lesson one. Um, and then we're going to go into making a calculator, which will be very exciting. So, yeah, we really hope you enjoyed. And until next time, I'll see you soon.